Hi everyone. This is uh, my uh, H-Bridge circuit that I pulled out of storage and uh, revived. Uh, I used to use this circuit uh, when I was doing my uh, resonance uh, experiments and uh, decided to utilize this on the uh, microwave oven transformer uh, experiments. So this is uh, about the uh, delayed lens effect and uh, the uh, information uh, or uh, topic was started by uh, user over unity guide and um, I'm getting some very good results now uh, since I'm utilizing uh, this H-Bridge circuit which creates uh, AC uh, current from a DC source so my DC source is uh, three uh, seal lead acid batteries that are in series, uh, creating a total of uh, 37 volts. And this other battery right here is what is feeding the circuitry here for the logic of the uh, H-bridge circuit. This uh, circuit is very, very efficient, uh, hardly any losses in it. So uh, this is uh, quite uh, good for giving a demonstration. Uh, we have uh, one, uh, one ohm resistor here as a shunt with my scope probe across it. And my other scope probe is across the uh, other side of the H-bridge uh, circuit here uh, to measure the voltage. So this is measuring current, this is measuring voltage on the primary. Here we have the microwave oven transformer which the secondary leads are coming out here these two white wires coming to this load which is a 120 volt uh, bulb uh, with uh, uh, probably it's rated at about 7, uh, seven watts uh, when it's uh, fully at 120 volts. Uh, we won't be going uh, that high up. Uh, this is just a switch to activate it uh, right now, uh, my signal generator is what's being used to uh, create the frequency here for the logic so I can tune the H-bridge to whatever frequency I want. So the frequency, this is our scope shot right here. So in yellow here, this is the uh, voltage, uh, AC voltage coming out of the H-bridge, uh, H-bridge circuit. So, and it's square wave, obviously and the green here is our uh, shunt resistor that one ohm resistor with the probe across to measure current and if we look at our data there uh, we have a total of 72 volts rms which is our 37 volts basically uh, 37 volts here and then back down again 37 volts so that's our total of these two 37 volts uh, and then our frequency is 1.56 kilohertz, so 1,560 hertz. And uh, this uh, scope is just going to be used, uh, just to, you know, so you can see the uh, frequency that I have it tuned at now. So I've got it tuned uh, to this particular frequency because I'm having good results with it and any other frequencies above this 1560 Hertz is giving good results. Um, so we are drawing a total of 30 milliamps. So for those who are not uh, familiar with what this is, this is a very uh, accurate meter that I built for uh, this purpose exactly, for utilizing DC uh, in pulse circuits. And what it has, it has two 3,700 microfarad capacitors. Uh, then this one here is identical. And what we, the, uh, cur the batteries come to feed this uh, capacitor here first. And through the resistor here, which is a high precision uh, resistor, and uh, that's a 1% 10 ohm resistor rated at 50 watts and slowly this resistor will transfer the current to the next capacitor which is where the H-bridge is connected to. So what that does is it creates a nice even flow of current which then could be measured 
by voltage but which comes in mathematical calculation and Ohm's law into current. So what you're looking at this, uh, this is on a 2 volt scale, this 0 0.30 represents 30 milliamps. So we're looking at 30 milliamps uh, that the transformer is consuming right now, the primary, and that's under idle, that is with no load. The load isn't connected or on at this time. I will have to flick this switch here to make uh, the uh, load go on to the secondary. So uh, I'm getting some good results and uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you. I'll put the uh, load on and if you look the uh, filament is just glowing now. So obviously there is a load now on the secondary. Keep in mind that this is a high voltage uh, you know, output. It's really not made to go uh, against a bulb like that. But anyways, we're doing it. So we're obviously seeing that we've added a load and our current is not changing. We're still at there are 30 uh, milliamps here and uh, the same uh, voltage, 37 volts. We let go of the load and we're back. So the transformer is idling with 30 milliamps at 37 volts with uh, no load now and now I've added the load and we're exactly again at our 30 milliamps. As you see the load is there I'm holding the switch. I let go of the switch the load is gone the current is exactly the same. So this is confirming I believe a user over unity guide from the over unity forum. Uh, his uh, delayed lens effect seems to be happening and uh, I'm capable of uh, reproducing this using my uh, H-bridge circuit uh, which is um, giving me the best uh, results so far using the single generator uh, and the shunt resistor I wasn't getting good readings uh, until I really use this meter and I can see that there is no uh, extra draw of current. So I guess that's about it and uh, I will post uh, this video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.